After weeks of meetings and hours behind closed doors, Kentucky's impeachment committee put an end to the petitions calling for Governor Andy Bashir and Attorney General Daniel Cameron to be removed from office. The committee believes neither the governor nor the attorney general did anything that would require impeachment, and the reports reveal why, giving us a look into what was privately being discussed all this time. The impeachment committee is uh, back on the record. Late last night, Kentucky's impeachment committee finally reached a decision. The committee has found that none of the allegations made against the governor nor the um, attorney general rise to the level of impeachable offenses. The question is, why did they decide that? This committee has spent most of its time over the last few weeks behind these closed doors. They weren't telling anyone what was being talked about in there, but now, for the first time, these reports are giving us a look inside of this room. So the document speaks for itself. So what do the reports actually say? Well, they're pretty clear. No further action is recommended on the petitions against Governor Andy Bashir and Attorney General Daniel Cameron. This is a little bit different than what the committee did with the other two Bashir petitions and the petition against Representative Robert Goforth. Those petitions were dismissed entirely because the committee said some of them didn't meet the appropriate standards. And when it comes to the high profile petition against Bashir, the committee made it clear they could have done that with this one too. Because, quote, the petition does not state how the purported violations meet the standard for impeachment other than to nakedly list various constitutional sections. But the committee decided not to dismiss it because they figured that would, quote, likely invite a subsequent petition. So they looked at all eight allegations made against Bashir. They're all linked to his COVID orders. And what they found is that, quote, the governor has not committed an impeachable offense. And even when it came to the more controversial orders, like restricting church gatherings, the committee noted that, quote, even though some courts found the governor's order to be in violation of certain individual liberties, many were also cognizant that these orders were issued by the governor on behalf of a good faith effort to curb the spread of the virus. We're going to get going. And that's what the governor has been saying all along. He repeatedly said the petition had no merit. Today, he even joked about it. I would call her my partner in crime, but I'm worried we'd get articles of impeachment. <laughs> Oh, did we already? Overall, the governor said the impeachment committee made the right choice and he wants to move on. As for the attorney general, he hasn't spoken out yet, but the committee also put a stop to the petition against him, writing, quote, their petition still fails to come anywhere near the high showing required for impeachment. Thank you. So clear decisions from a quiet committee. In Frankfurt, Carolina Butrack, LEX 18 News.